Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugar Loaf and Carabas Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. And this weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. For today, we should see snow developing this morning. Could see anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of accumulation, so be aware of that. You're out and about. Things will be snowy out there. 30 to 32 for your base temperatures, 21 to 23 at the summit, and a light east-southeast breeze throughout the mountain as well. Shouldn't cause any issues. And little to no wind for Saturday with mostly cloudy skies, but the good thing is it'll be nice and warm out there. 34 to 36 for your base temperatures, 24 to 26 with that very light southwest breeze hardly noticeable at all so get out there and enjoy it sunday we're looking at cloudy skies a high of 34 with a low of 22 monday partly sunny skies temperatures drop 23 for a high for a low 29 for a high and 28 for a high with 14 for a low on tuesday and partly sunny skies Friday, January 26th, that's today, your Birchwood Interiors Trail Port. 52 trails of skiing and ride on seven lifts getting you there with 45 trails on the groomers list last night. With loose granular surfaces out there stick to the groomed as everything else was hit with that freezing rain and the warm temperatures yesterday afternoon. Snubber and Skidway, those lifts will get you going at 8.30 this morning. And we'll see Skyline, Super Quad, and Double Runner East get going at 8.30 as well to move you around the mid-mountain terrain. Up on the east side, 9 o'clock, Wiffle Tree and King Pine get going. Wiffle Tree down low, King Pine up high, and Timberline, the uppermost lift here at the mountain, is scheduled to go at 9 a.m. Snowmaking will resume when those temperatures allow, and do want to make note that uphill travel is closed for the time being because of the conditions out there. As far as grooming, Timberline, Bridal Chain, Upper Double Bitter, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner and Haywire, Lower Skidder, Upper Competition Hill, Narrow Gauge, Spillway Sluice, as well as Gondola Line, all smooth out. And you want to stick to the groomed terrain today. Hallback, Ram Down, Widowmaker Flume, Two Hall, Wolf Tree and Cruiser, as well as Buckboard, Springboard, Pole Line, Slasher, and Rollway on the east side. And Scoot, Windrow, and a few passes on West Mountain over on the west side of the mountain groomed out last night. So something for everyone, including down below, Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, The Landing, Birches, and Snowbrook, all smoothed out, and all the terrain parks got some work as well. As far as the outdoor center, everything has come out good, everything that they've groomed, so get down there and enjoy that. The ungroomed is closed. That are trails like uh, S-Turns, 50, Red Stallion, The Horns, Bobcat, Highland, and V2. Snowshoe rink is op- or snowshoe trails are open. Uh, they'll have to work on the ice rink. And want to let you know the fat bike trails, variable conditions out there, as we'll see snow arriving today. And all the snowshoers and bridge shovelers, welcome this weekend. And the groomers have been hard at it. They're out there when they can with the Arnold Trail Snowmobile Club. It is still uh, early season conditions out there, so be aware of that. If you're looking for some indoor activity, check out the Anti-Gravity Complex located right at the bottom of the access road. You can find us streaming 24-7 at WSKITV.com as well as the Spectrum app, and we've got a channel on Roku. And don't forget our live mountain report Saturday and Sunday morning, 7.30 to 9 a.m. for all of the info to know before you go so you can have a great day out there. And we'll have some very special guests this weekend with the Charity Summit as well.